So at Cambridge Consultants, we believe that the silver bullet for creating truly successful products on the market, we need integrated product development. And what that means is that we must care as much about performance of the system as we must care about the value of what that system or product provides. People usually know that Cambridge Consultant is very good at creating the performance of systems, right? The capability for systems to deliver on their requirements. But what's really important is to add to that the value component, and that's where human-centered design comes in. So the whole idea is that it is very important to have a good understanding of what the problem is before you start creating the solution. One, because it is important to really understand your market, but two, also from an effort perspective, you want to make sure that you're spending all that effort in development, developing the right solution for the right problem. We have, with human-centered design, the ability with all our teams to really understand the intersection of users, markets, technologies, uh, and to really start understanding the problem and creating bespoke programs for our clients. This usually starts with generative research. The goal of generative research is to really uncover what the problem really is through unmet needs, through insights, uh, by talking to people in their natural environment, by really mapping the use, the flow, uh, finding out what the personas are, the stakeholders, and using ethnography to create a user journey, but also understand the strategy that needs to be implemented, so really defining what the problem is, okay? Then, when we know what the problem is, we can move into solution space. And the solution space is really where we start generating user experiences, we start generating possible futures, and while we're cautious of integrating technology and making sure that everybody, all the actors of performance are actually part of this journey to design the right use cases and through the use of logic trees and renderings uh, and formative testing, being able to dwindle down and select down to one single solution that is the appropriate one to the strategy we have decided to pursue in the previous state. Once you have one single concept is when you can start going into concept refinement where the goal is to really define everything that has to do with color, finish, material, uh, creating the master models, doing some more formative testing to hone in the details of your design and always trying, whether it's digital or physical, to maintain the design intent that was defined by your strategy. So this is the overall process that we would use on any project, but we would take different tools and methods uh, depending on what the project is. And what we have on this side is actually examples of such things. Portal Instruments is a company that does needleless injection and they came to us very early on with something that was more of a breadboard than a full-blown system. And the idea was what can we create as a, as a system that will make people inspired and to do that we basically fast-forwarded very with, uh, with what we call emotional fuel to create some kind of concept cars of what the future would be that acted as conversation starters for Portal to understand how they should design and place their system in the market. With all that knowledge, it became apparent to them that they shouldn't pursue the route of creating something uh, completely new and different, but really what they should do is ground themselves in uh, classic auto-injector forms and not go you know, completely in the future. So having a classic uh, auto-injector form, but that was basically at odds with the use that was that you had to inject at an angle. So this is where using the human-centered design approach and having a really integrated uh, product development allowed us with Portal to develop something that would be affordant for people to inject at a 30 degree angle and this is where you see that we've done rounds of architecture like we have on the other side, uh, we've done alpha testing and beta testing with levels of fidelity that grow through the cycles of development until we actually got to a form factor and a system uh, that from a software and hardware perspective is able to really get around all the use cases that would be wrong and inappropriate for doing the right injection. 
then we go into master models and definition of UIs and definition of color materials like we would have in concept refinement. So you can see here that there's a cross section here of the process that I talked about on the other side. With this came the opportunity because this is Bluetooth enabled to actually create an ex full experience that actually went into app development to really go and have this system immerse itself in the day-to-day -day life of somebody with IBD, with bowel disorder. And so what we've created here is an app that allows you to record your symptoms and track your usage and see the correlation between the way that the drug works and how it affects your symptoms. That way, kind of expanding the, the experience to something that reaches over from physical to digital and really tying everything together, the performance, the value, uh, with basically a full integrated product development uh, methodology.